fraction basics. We're going to take a look at an introduction to fractions, proper and improper fractions, mixed numbers, and simplifying fractions. One can take a look at a fraction as uh, a representation of parts over a whole. We could take a look at the numerator as a number of parts being considered and the denominator as a number of parts the whole is divided into. As just a quick review, we can think about dividing something by one as having one whole part or one part. Uh, your whole is being divided as in one part and 13 over 1 would then become 13. So that's just a special property of having a denominator of 1. We could take a look at a fraction uh, representing some shaded part of a whole rectangle. So in this case we have our rectangle and that's divided up into seven equal parts. So what part is shaded? We can take a look at the seven equals parts and the part that's being shaded is four and so the fraction we're considering is four over seven. A proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator and an improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is greater than its denominator, uh, greater than or equal to. So in those cases, uh, what we would have when the numerator is greater than the denominator, we would have more than one whole being accounted for. Let's take a look at writing a mixed number as an improper fraction. We have three steps for this. First, we multiply the denominator by the fraction of the fraction by a whole number. So as an example, we have 6 and 3 fourths as our mixed number. So we multiply the denominator and the whole number part. So that's a 6 times a 4, and that's 24. The next step is we take that number, and then we add the numerator for it. So the numerator in our mixed number was 3, and we have 24 plus 3 is 27. And then finally, our last step is to put that new numerator 27 on top of our same original denominator, which is 4. And this is how we would write a mixed number as an improper fraction. If we want to write an improper fraction as a mixed number or a whole number, what we want to do is we want to do a long division and divide the denominator into the numerator. So we have uh, 13 divided by 7. 7 is going to go into 13. Uh, it turns out that it's going to go into 13 once, and it's going to have a remainder of 6. So that remainder will play an important role for us in writing our mixed number. Uh, the whole number result that we got as our quotient is 1. And so uh, our remainder will become the numerator of our mixed number fraction. And so we have 1 and 6 seventh as a representation for 13 over 7. We also sometimes would need to write a fraction in simplest form. Uh, so an equivalent fraction, just as a definition, uh, our equivalent fractions are fractions that are actually equal to each other, mathematically equal to each other, although they may look different. So, for example, 2 thirds is actually equal to 4 sixths, which is equal to 8 twelfths, and there are many other representations for the fraction 2 thirds. Simplest form, or lowest terms, is when the numerator and denominator have no other common factors. And so that comes to the idea of reducing. For example, if we have 4 over 42, uh, both the numerator and the denominator have a factor of 2 common. And so we can think about canceling out the 4 and the 42 or dividing out the common factor of 2. And then we get 21, 20, I'm sorry, 2 over 21. So at this point we have no more common factors, so this must be the lowest terms.